One day after Rochester police officer Daryl Pearson's killer is sentenced to life in prison, Pearson is remembered at the first police explorer games in his honor. Ali Tui is live at the public safety training facility in Chai Lai with the latest. Ali? Well, Amy, it's already been an exciting and a little bit exhausting day for some 30 explorers competing in the first ever Daryl Pearson Memorial Explorer Games. Six teams of five explorers are competing in a variety of challenges here with the public safety training facility throughout the day in honor of fallen officer Pearson. That includes an obstacle course competition, a manhunt, and a written test. The Explorer program is an opportunity to learn about careers in a variety of fields for 14 to 20 year olds. These explorers are focused on becoming the future faces of law enforcement. Organizers say this event wouldn't be possible without the kindness of the Pearson family. Uh, these games are a result of the Brighton Police Department Exploring Post um, attempting to donate money to the Pearson family, who promptly returned the donation, uh, stating that Daryl, in fact, was a police explorer himself. Um, so they wanted to put the money back into the program and give the uh, youth an opportunity to uh, find out about the joys of the law enforcement program. I'm interested in becoming a police officer, and Daryl Pearson games are a great way to honor Officer Pearson, who made the ultimate sacrifice. It's a great thing to uh, just give back and honor him. And the competition goes until 3 o'clock today. Amy Pearson and members of the Rochester Police Department are expected at the closing ceremony. Some of the explorers I talked to say they hope to make the Pearsons proud and walk away with the trophy. We're live in Chile this afternoon. Allie Tui, News 8.